What's up guys, Chef Dale Taldi here, host of All Up In My Grill on Taste Made. We are at Maple Block Barbecue in Culver City to meet one of the hottest hip hop artists to come out of Atlanta, Georgia, Black. I hope you got the stretchy pants on guys because we are doing some real barbecue eating today. When did you think that music was like, okay, I'm doing this, this is what I love to do? My whole entire life, since, <laughs> since I can't remember. <laughs> I was always the kid that made music, the kid that rapped, the kid that freestyle. It was a hobby to everybody else, and for me it was like, I want this to be my career, I want this to be my job. So I did college for a year, dropped out 2011. That was like the beginning of saying, I'll go one year, two year, three years, five years with no money if that's the path that it takes for me to get where I want to go. Do you uh, remember that moment where your parents were like, all right, he's doing it. My first show in Atlanta had to be the moment where they realized it was real. Cause that was the first moment that I realized it was real. The first time that you pull up to a venue and you see a line and you haven't ever seen a line for yourself ever. Yeah, like, yeah. And you're like, who are these people out here for? What's going on? And you, everybody's like, they're here for you. Like, this is your show, this is your night. So that was the moment where my mom was just like, you, you really did something like this is great. That's great. My parents had both eaten in restaurants, but I was always cooking other people's food. Right. And when I got on a show called Top Chef, that's I think one of the moments where my parents saw me create. Mm -hmm. He's creating, not just making other people's recipes. Absolutely, so, absolutely. That, that was my aha moment with my with my parents. Yeah, you made your own world, and like they were able to witness it and be like, ah, look at what he did. The only job that I ever had was a hot wing job. I didn't like find inspiration to want to make wings, but I found inspiration to want to eat more wings. Can you make a mean wing? Yes, the only difference is now I don't fry anything. Now I just bake them pretty easy, just marinate them overnight. Buffalo or lemon pepper? Hot lemon pepper for sure. Um, hot some, lemon pepper. Yeah, I think lemon pepper and the combination of like hot sauce and lemon pepper are the most popular thing in Atlanta for sure. Is your order, is it the same or do you, do you flip it every once in a while? 20 peas, hot lemon pepper, wings extra wet, fries, peach and lemonade drink mix. That's <laughs> pro move. That's some pro move stuff right there. You know, my wife's Korean, so my, my wing order has changed very drastically. Soy garlic, Korean fried chicken wings, and a side of rice, mm. and ranch, and these radish pickles. Right, that that's the move, that's my move. That sounds amazing. The feast has arrived. Black, what was the first thing that caught your eye? First, the wings, because I'm such a heavy wing critic, so I can't wait to give my opinion on those, but also the beef brisket, because it's always a hit for me. When barbecue hits, and especially a spread like this, I have a method. It's never to crowd my plate with too much because I want to taste things individually how they are before I start to kind of mash up everything together. The beef rib has its moment, the links have their moment, Absolutely. the biscuits can play well with each other, but they all have to kind of have their own moment. It's good. It is very good. Texture to me is big in barbecue and these ribs are tender, but they still have some like uh, a nice mouthfeel to it. Are you a sauce guy? Absolutely. It is so much my thing that I released the EP called Six Piece Hot. We even came up with the hot sauce. Uh, we had a signing at a wing place. It, it's a little bit of an obsession, I it's, guess. It's deep, it's <laughs> running deep, it's running deep. Being in the kitchen, do you prefer silence to focus or music to accompany? In the beginning, I used to just be militant. And, no, no music, like everyone focus on what we're doing. And then I just realized that like people aren't happy. And I kind of equate it like when a crowd is watching you and you're not happy, they'll end up feeling some of that energy. Yeah, for sure. The same way in a restaurant. If the chef isn't happy, if the cooks aren't happy, Inevitably, the guests that are dining will feel a little bit of that energy and yeah. uh, it'll ruin it for people. I know you're a wing guy, man. Yep. Get into these and let's hear the uh, let's hear the review. Atlanta wings, like we were talking about earlier, are like normally smaller. Barbecue wings tend to be a little bit bigger. I like to like break and dip when they're a little bit out of my size range. See, like this terminology is like uh, break the break and dip thing, like that is. <laughs> That is some real like pro level wing eating mm -hmm. terminology. Hot sauce is vinegary, I, look, I think, but I like it. It's definitely doctored homemade. I'm not mad at the chicken either. I'm not mad at the wings. You know, I could probably go back there and show them something. Oh, oh, oh flex. <laughs> but I know that my opinion could change if I ate one of these chunky drums. New album is out. Just tell us about it. Since I Have a Lover is probably my favorite album in terms of like where I am in my personal life. It's like being vulnerable and sharing my emotions. Like the way that I grew up and the way that most of my friends grew up, that wasn't really the cool thing to do. It wasn't really the thing that we were taught. And when you get old enough to realize what the issue is, then you have a responsibility to not only take care of yourself, but do it in a way that other people can see so that they can in return want to take care of themselves. 
I think there's a lot of similarities between some Asian households and black households where mental health is not a thing. Yeah, talking to somebody on the outside was like the number one key for me. The second that I had that outside influence, it just opened up everything. And now when I navigate things that don't feel good for me, uh, I just feel more poised than I've ever felt. How did that free the music? I don't really have like that, that doubt or that worry about like what other people might like or might not like anymore because it's just about me feeling better. I was in a bad place when I was on that TV show and acting not great. It hurt watching my parents have to see that person because I know that they, in their eyes, they said, we didn't raise you like that. Yeah. And it, that was the epithet for me to be like, you know what, I need to talk to somebody. Yeah. I don't like the way I saw myself. I have to make a change in my life. Cookouts. What are some of the songs, but what's the vibe of music for your cookouts? I don't think that like genre is necessarily like the most important thing when you have a playlist for a cookout. So if the song can make you move, if the song can make like everybody like have a moment in unison, then I think those are always like the perfect playlist songs. So I'm gonna put you on the spot, dude. Who is your Atlanta music Mount Rushmore? If I could combine Andre and Big Boy into like a, a connected person on the Mount yeah, Rushmore, yeah, yeah. then I will put Outkast right there. I'm gonna jump to the new era because these two artists hand in hand have changed the sound of music today. Future and Young Thug. This is where it gets a little tricky because we got T.I., we got Jeezy, we got Luda, we got Gucci. I'm gonna give it to Tip because he had such an impact on my school years. Jermaine Dupri, the whole so-so death camp, uh, Usher. Jeezy was a heavy influence. Gucci was a heavy influence. Goody Mob, heavy influence. Yeah, I could go forever. So listen, man, real talk. This is like a really important question. Okay. Um, am I invited to the cookout? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. My man. Not only are you invited, you could also curate if you want to take some of the weight off of my shoulder, because- 100%. I, I Listen, can't. if that's what it takes to get invited to your cookout- Not only do I know the food would be amazing, but the company would be great. Thank you, I appreciate it, man. And thanks for coming and just rapping about your career, and yeah. it's really inspiring, man. Thank you, I appreciate Thank you. it. I wish I could hand, but you already know. <laughs>